All right, number 44 comes to us from section 7.3, where we're working with fractional equations or rational equations. And in this case, I'm going to rewrite what we have here. It's 2 thirds plus 2 over p equals p plus 1 over 3. And what we must do is recognize the least common denominator. And because we have an equation, we're going to clear those fractions by multiplying each side by that least common denominator. In this case, we need to have the common denominator include a 3 and a p. And we're going to multiply the entire left side by 3p and the entire left side by 3p. In fact, I'm going to write it as 3p over 1 for each of them. And now our job is to distribute in, on, the, on the left side to each of those terms. On the right side, it won't distribute in the same way because uh, we're just multiplying by one fraction. But the 3s will indeed divide out, leaving us with p plus 1 times p. On the left side, as we distribute 3p, we're going to be careful about it and think what happens. As we multiply this times the very first fraction, the 3 and the 3 divide out. And so we're left with just p times 2, or 2p. Plus, as we distribute that to the second fraction, 2 over p, the p's divide out. And we're left with 3 times 2, which is 6. So let's take a look at what we have now. 2p plus 6 equals, I'm going to have to distribute here too, p squared plus p. Now this right here, that squared, that means that we have a quadratic equation. And again, we have to get it all equal to 0. Because the positive p squared is on the right side this time, I'm going to subtract 2p from each side. And if you don't mind, at the same time, I'm going to subtract 6. Let's see what we've got now. 2p and negative 2p is 0. Positive 6 and negative 6 also 0 equals p squared is not combined with anything, but p and minus 2p is a negative 1p, or negative p, minus 6. And now we must factor that using the factor game. This is the simple kind of factoring. It's one step. And the factor game will show that we've got a negative 3 and a positive 2. And just as before, equal to 0, so we can set each factor equal to 0. p minus 3 is equal to 0, or p plus 2 is equal to 0. And together, we find that p is equal to 3, comma, negative 2. Two solutions. Here's another example from section 7.3. To decide on the LCD, we need to look at the denominators in factored form. The first fraction has a factored form of x times x plus 3 in the denominator. Equals this set fraction, 6 over the quantity x plus 3, that's the only factor that it has. And plus 1 over x, again the only factor that it has. The LCD for this whole equation is x times x plus 3. And again, because we have an equation, we can multiply each side by x times x plus 3. And we can even put it over 1 if we want. The right side also by x times x plus 3. And we'll do this very carefully. On the left side, the x that we multiplied by divides out with that x. The x plus 3's divide out, and we get just the numerator x squared plus 15 equals. On the right side, as we distribute this entire thing, this entire LCD to each fraction, something different will divide out each time. When we multiply it times the 6 over x plus 3 is the x plus 3's that divide out, and we have left a 6 and an x that was distributed. Plus, in the second one, it's the x's that divide out, and we have left a 1 times x plus 3, or just 
x plus 3. Simplifying on the right side, our equation becomes x squared plus 15 is equal to 7x plus 3. Again, our equation is quadratic because of the x squared term. And again, that means that we need to have everything on one side and 0 on the other. Because we already have a positive x squared on the left, let's go ahead and subtract 7x from each side and at the same time subtract 3. On the left side we want to write things in descending order. The x squared is first and the minus 7x is next and then 15 minus 3 is plus 12 is equal to 0 and 0 again. And that's what we, exactly what we wanted was 0 on one side, in this case on the right side. This again is a quadratic equation. We're going to factor now that it's equal to 0. And this factors into x minus 3 times x minus 4. Again, I'm factoring quickly and I'll let you do the work as you need to, to practice that if need to be. Each factor now can be equal to 0, so x minus 3 equals 0, or x minus 4 equals 0. And our two solutions are 3 and 4.